Wondering what's in the sky in May? We have the answer. The Ada Aquarids meteor shower will take place between April 20th and May 21st, with peaks between May 5th and May 6th. The meteors will appear to originate from the constellation Aquarius, which rises in the early morning. The best time to see them is from 2 a.m. until dawn on May 5th and May 6th. There will be 50 each hour on average, which means you can see 1 to 2 per minute. Fun fact, the parent object for this meteor shower is the famous Halley's Comet. Jupiter is leaving the skies this month as it disappears behind the sun. Look for it in the constellation Taurus before it disappears, setting in the west just after sunset. Mars will appear high in the sky this month in the constellation Cancer. Be sure to come visit us on Mars Hill to see the red planet through our state-of-the-art telescopes. Saturn and Venus will be visible before dawn this entire month, located in the constellation Pisces. The moon will be nearest to Saturn on May 22nd and nearest to Venus on May 23rd. The constellation Scorpius is coming into view with its bright red star Antares near the moon on May 13th. Libra, Virgo, Leo, and Cancer are all visible this month. Ophiuchus, the 13th zodiac sign, will start to appear in the eastern sky in the evening. It's called the 13th zodiac sign because it is the 13th constellation that lies along the ecliptic, which is the path that the sun takes across the sky. Now for some news updates. Join us at Lowell Observatory on May 9th for the next installment of our World Revealed speaker series. Exploring Titan. Lakes, seas, and clouds of methane with Dr. Jennifer Hanley takes you on a journey to Saturn's largest moon, which is more similar to Earth than you might think. Visit lowell.edu forward slash events for more information. Grand Canyon Conservancy and Grand Canyon National Park invite you to celebrate the 11th anniversary of the Cultural Demonstration Program. The park will host 12 demonstrators along with prayers, dances, speeches, and a special Grand Canyon Speaks program. Learn more at grandcanyon.org forward slash events. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Alex Plansky, an astronomer here at Lowell Observatory. This has been the Arizona Night Sky Report, presented in collaboration with Grand Canyon Conservancy. We'll see you next time.